Okay, I was talking about um, Audacity and one of the activities where our teacher has them open an original file from the CD and then they the student hits record. Two. Two. Seek. Sick. Sick. S Three. Eat. Eat. It. It. They hit stop. And then when they play that back. One. Sheep. We didn't start with one. Ship. We started with two. 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 Seek. Sick. 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 Three. Eat. Eat. It. It. And then when I do a file export as MP3, it merges the two soundtracks together. So this is actually the, the CD soundtrack is here. And if I scroll down, this second soundtrack no, not that one. This second soundtrack is my recording. So when I export it, it merges those two together. All right. Uh, so the teacher can hear the comparison. All right. So that's VoiceThread. I mean, not VoiceThread. That's Audacity. Do I want to save the changes? No. I would want to export, not save. OK. Um, Vocaroo is a free web-based recorder, OK? Uh, the sound quality is not as good as Audacity or other computer-based recorders, but it is simple to use from any computer with a microphone. That's the advantage, and that's why a lot of teachers use it. The audio from Vocaroo is not downloaded, but the link to the audio file can be copied or embedded into a um, email or another web page. So once you click to record, and you have to ch click allow always and then you're recording and you're recording and then you click stop and down here it says it's waiting see that so now I have an option I can copy the link and I can either put that link in the email address or I can copy this code if I know how to embed a file okay but I don't have to know how to embed, or the students don't have to know how to embed. I can just uh, copy the link, all right? But I can't download the audio file and then load it on a podcasting website, for example, OK? And then there's PowerPoint. We shouldn't forget about PowerPoint, because PowerPoint is actually a very um, powerful tool also for audio. Uh, it has an audio recorder built into it that allows students to add their comments to PowerPoint slides. Or what most, most of my teachers do is they uh, record oral questions that are in the slide. So it combines, it has the picture, and then it has the, the teacher's oral recording of a question. And the students will answer it either on paper or by recording their voice in Audacity or another program. Okay, so we've talked about speaking through the computer, and asynchronous is sort of speaking to the computer, um, but there's also speaking around the computer, and you can always, even if you don't have recording software, you can always have the students rec speak around the computer, all right? Um, In other words, if you have computers for each and every person in class, there are still times when you want to put them into groups or pairs and have them work together with just one computer because that way they're going to acquire more language. So if you have two people working together on one computer, they're going to be talking to each other. So that's what it means by talking around the computer. Um, they're talking to each other to complete the process. Uh, we always want to be thinking about the best way for our students to acquire the language. And that's usually not through independent work, to be honest with you. Usually students will learn the language faster as they collaborate with each other. 